What is the first thing that comes to mind when you think of the Wabajack? Is it Shea Gorath and his flamboyant regalia, or is it the flames that ignite at the top of the staff? Is it the wood carvings that are etched in, three screaming faces yelling at you? Or is it simply just the random, sheer power it contains that none can protect against and none are safe from? When I think of the Wabajack, what first comes to mind for me is a simpler time. A time where not being an adult, assigned seating, and adventuring the Daedric Plains of Oblivion merged into beautiful synchronicity. I'm talking about March 26th, 2007, better known by many as the release date of Oblivion's famed DLC, The Shivering Isles. I could regal you all for hours on the tales of my adventures through the Shivering Isles, and let's not forget about Oblivion itself, but this is a different kind of video. In this video, I'm talking about a different kind of Wabajack, but don't worry, we may revisit Oblivion later on. The Wabajack I'm talking about is the Wabajack Client. The Wabajack Mod List Compiler is a program which gained quite a bit of attention in mid-2019. It was a program which allowed users to create their own lists of mods for Bethesda games and other games alike, which other users could then install with much easier means than following a mega mod list guide. It was, and is basically a mod list for dummies application, and I mean that in the highest regard to the Wabajack team. It is my main installation application for modifying my Bethesda games to this day, and I'd have it no other way. So let's go ahead and install this program and look at some of the features. So right here we have Wabajack, and I'm just going to open it really quickly and kind of show you guys how to walk through it. So once that's all finished, here's the main screen. We're going to go up to the cog wheel, and I'm going to show you guys the first important area. This is your logins and settings area. Now your logins, you need to make sure you have those squared away, especially for Nexus, because that's where a lot of these mods are going to come from. Uh, basically, you've got three sections other than that that you can go to, which is creating a mod list, installing from the disk, and where we're going now, browsing mod lists. Kind of looks like the website, so we're just going to scroll up and down, you know, just look around a little bit, but I'm kind of enjoying how Ghoul's Out looks. I think we're going to pick that one. So when you press the little icon that's for opening the website, it'll take you to their main Wabajack page where you'll see your mod list summary, requirements, installation instructions, all of that stuff. You want to give all of this a read because it is going to be important in the end. This is not going to do the entire job for you, it's just going to make the job easier. When you're ready to install, what you'll do is you'll go back up to your same mod and you'll click that little download button, the arrow down on top of a flat platform. It'll kind of start getting ready. Once that's all loaded up, you'll see that you're on this new page, kind of the same stuff from the Wabajack mod list page, maybe more in depth. It's the main mod authors, Google Docs, or whatever it could be. So just pay attention and make sure you read through these things. I won't go into too much depth on how to install things and where to install them. Just put the install location in a place you can easily access and the download location will fill in the rest. Make sure once you're done, just press that big old play button. Did you notice anything different from the beginning of the video? Oblivion didn't look quite the same, and Skyrim may have looked a little bit better than it did before. That was all done with the Wabajack mod list compiler. Of course, thanks to all the mod authors and the mod list compilers, I was able to put these things together and make these two games look even better than they did before. So you might be asking why I'm reviewing this out of the blue and why I'm endorsing this so much. Well, as someone who's spent upwards of 8-10 to 10 hours compiling a mod pack by hand just to have it shit the bed, this program is a godsend. It provides newbie modders and veterans alike ease of accessibility to a vetted and nice selection of mod packs, all while not repacking the mods and allowing for modders and modless compilers alike to receive the recognition they deserve. I really just can't endorse this program highly enough, and I suggest that if you have the chance, just give it a try. The link is going to be in the description as well as an official installation tutorial from the Wabajack team. So thank you guys so much for watching, I appreciate y'all, and if you liked the video, just leave a like, subscribe, or comment, and if you didn't like the video, you know the drill, just leave a comment with some critique, dislike the video, and let me know what I can do better. Otherwise, make sure you go down in the description, check out those links for the Wabajack team and the other stuff, and I will see y'all in the next video.